My first impressions were, wow, this is impressive. I need to show all my friends, um, especially the watercolour brushes. I'm Hazel Mead. I'm a freelance illustrator, and people know me best for my period positive, sex positive, and body positive illustration. So as I trained as an oil painter, when I made the switch to digital illustration, um, the tangibility of real paints was something I was really lacking, and I never managed to get that. Um, so when Fresco came around, so that really excited me, um, the live brushes especially, um, because you can build up layers, textures, um, and they interact just how oil paints and watercolours would work, um, so you get great bleeding effects. Um, and that's something, as a painter, that really excites me. Fresco is being marketed as an app that sits somewhere between Photoshop and Illustrator, but whereas Photoshop you can only use raster and Illustrator you can only use vector, Fresco combines the two, um, and that's something that's really exciting as well. I went to this jazz club and they were doing burlesque life drawing. So while I was there, there was great music, a great atmosphere. I drew lots of, sort of sexy ladies. And then I came away thinking, I want to recreate that atmosphere. So that was the inspiration for the, this piece. Fresco's user interface is modeled quite closely on Photoshop's user interface. So for me, someone that uses Photoshop already, uh, I found it really easy to get to grips with. It feels quite natural when you're applying the pen to the screen, um, especially because you can sort of use it on its side. The paint and brush options are fairly similar between Fresco and Procreate. However, Procreate does allow a couple more options, for example, tapering the brush. It feels much more natural when I'm using Fresco. For example, if you use the pen at a kind of diagonal, uh, there's less paint being used, or if it's, if it's more direct, there's more paint being used. You can build up the layers um, and they almost take on a three-dimensional quality. If you notice, there's this sort of 3D effect happening. The way the paints bleed and dry on fresco is really magical. It's something everyone's going to want to see, I think. And you can see the the lines of the brush strokes. And then if we go in with a lighter colour, it, it can blend, or if you have reload colour on, each stroke has that same colour of paint again. And just how real watercolours bleed, you get something similar in fresco. And you can control it, which is what's quite nice about working digitally. You can have as much or as little control as you want. Um, so you can control the amount of water, the amount of paint, and then just kind of see what happens. And then you can also, there's a really nice feature which allows you to dry the layer and then work in over the top. Um, so that's much more handy and versatile than real paints, in fact. A really nice aspect of Fresco is the palette option which remembers all the colours that you've used in an illustration which is so handy because you don't have to refine the colours and you just have them all there. One thing I love about Fresco is that they've included time lapse as one of their features which for a digital artist is so important especially in the world of Instagram and social media. Once you've finished your image you can export it as a time lapse so you just go to this button here, publish and export and then time-lapse export. And then it shows all your steps and process. I'm using the latest Apple Pencil, which has this great technology, um, which allows you to double tap. And Fresco has got it set up so you can zoom in and out of your artwork, which is cool. I think the only limitation of Adobe Fresco is the editing capabilities. So for example, if a client wanted me to edit a colour slightly, I wouldn't be able to do that in Fresco. I'd have to export it into another programme. Adobe captures this really neat tool that you should look at anyway, even if you're not going to get Adobe Fresco. Um, you can customise your own brushes. So you can take a picture and then turn that into a brush. And because it's part of the Adobe suite, it's compatible with Fresco. In fact, here I'm using Adobe Capture right now. Um, so I photographed my kisses in Adobe Capture and then edited out the background and turned it into a brush, which I then imported into Fresco 
and I can use it as a brush in the background. Uh, now that I have fresco, I do think I will make more digital oil pieces, even if it's just for pleasure. Uh, we'll see if the clients wish to use um, more digital oil, but for me especially, yeah, that's something that I've been missing in my personal work. The interface is very intuitive and I'd be quite comfortable giving it to a complete novice, um, maybe even my granny, we'll see. <laughs>